Uh, afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Um, as you'll know from the statement that's been uh, issued uh, not long ago, uh, we have offered uh, sanctions to uh, the three players that I advised last night uh, that were uh, reported under Cricket Australia's code of conduct. And uh, today, as you know, they are travelling home to Australia. And it is um, with, with deep regret that uh, we're in this position. It gives us no joy. But uh, the process that uh, the Cricket Australia Board has worked through over the last few days has been exhaustive to uh, arrive as best we can as a, a, at decisions that uh, are sanctions that are representative of uh, an appropriate measure given uh, the incidents that took place in Cape Town on, uh, on Saturday. James, do you honestly uh, believe that only three men were involved in this plot? No bowlers, even though Steve Smith regard, uh, referred to the leadership group being behind it? As, as, I, as I said last night, the, the investigation which was done uh, by Ian Roy, our head of integrity, has found that there were only three players that knew of this plan and uh, we're absolutely satisfied of that. Are you going to resign yourself? Are you going to resign, James? Have you thought about your position? I look, I, I think the... I'm not going to go into specific detail. I, I think we've given uh, quite a bit of detail in the release that, uh, that relates to the findings. Um, that, that Ian has put before the board following his investigation. And uh, given that we are at a stage now where sanctions have been offered to the players and they now have a time period in which they need to decide what position they take in response, it's not appropriate for me to go into any more detail or make any judgments on that other than the information that we've provided in that release. Jack, you worry about this, the sandpaper sand or the no, the, uh, the, re the release that's, uh, that's gone out today confirms that it was sandpaper. Okay, so it's a normal procedure to have sandpaper in the kit bag. Where did sandpaper come from? It's not, I'm, I'm not sure that it's normal procedure, but I, I do understand that sandpaper is often in uh, the dressing room or in players' kit bags uh, in relation to looking after and taking care of their bats. Sorry? The, the, again, the release, I'm not going to go into the detail, but the release uh, that we have provided today goes into specific detail on the reasons why uh, the players have been reported and the basis on which the sanctions have been, been offered to the players. And why has Darren Lehman kept his job? He was on the walk and talking for the 12th man. He appears to have been involved in some way in trying to hide this up. How, how is he remaining in post? I mean, he's presided over a culture that many people are worried about. As I said last night, Darren Lehman's the coach. Darren Lehman uh, was not in any way involved in the incident. Ian Roy has satisfied himself on that and he continues as coach under his contract. What is the long-term damage to Australian cricket? Uh, I've, spoken to, I've spoken to all of the three players before they left, yes. What was their response to Oh, look, I think they're very sad and disappointed and, and remorseful for, uh, for what has happened and... James, have you caught them cheating now that they've had the sanction? I think, uh, I think under, under the code it specifically refers to uh, these practices uh, in, in which we have uh, made the charges and offered the sanctions as, uh, as cheating. So I think uh, people want to use their own words, uh, but cheating is certainly one of them that is probably appropriate in the circumstances. What is the long term damage to Australian cricket? Well, I don't think that can be. I don't think that can be measured uh, terribly easily. But uh, clearly, this has caused uh, a huge amount of damage to to the game of cricket as a whole, and and certainly Australian cricket. And it's compromised the fans' confidence and faith in cricket. And it's really our responsibility, uh, players, administrators, coaches, and others, uh, to reinstore that faith and confidence. There are millions and millions of Australians that love the game of cricket and our job is to continue to, to inspire young people to love the game. James, have you considered resigning? You're the man in charge, you're presiding over this mess. Why have you not gone? No, I haven't considered resigning. I've got a job to do and uh, this only strengthens my resolve to help the game. James, James, can you just explain the situation? Um, what was the talking about? That looks like a cover. That's what the next player, you know, commentator was saying. You know, he gave a message. 
then you sound like you went down the crowd. Can you explain what happened there? Because to the local public, it seems like you took both the cover up. Look, I, I, I don't want to get too involved in the specific comments or the findings of the review, but I do, in Darren's defence, I do want to just clarify that specific matter. And I want to, want to say that he sent a message to say what in the hell is going on. He didn't use hell, he used another word. Uh, but what in the hell is going on uh, that was uh, found to be uh, through Ian's uh, through, through Ian's investigation found to be the fact, and I, I want to make that point very clearly, um, that uh, Darren, Darren made those comments and Ian was certainly satisfied that Darren uh, wasn't involved and didn't know anything of the plan. Is there further investigation now? I asked the same question I asked last night. Is there concern now that it may not just be the one incident? Well, I don't think there's any, any evidence that we've we've seen or heard in the investigation in Ian's work and uh, clearly the primary focus of his investigation is, is very much about uh, the events of Cape Town but also uh, his, his discussions and his responsibility was to ask questions more broadly and uh, I guess on that Mike just to take that a step further um, if there are credible allegations or, or suggestions to the contrary we have a responsibility to investigate them so it doesn't necessarily stop here, but at the same time, uh, through the investigation thus far, we're satisfied um, that it does appear to be an isolated incident, but at the same time, uh, if there are credible allegations or other suggestions, then we have powers under the code to investigate and take it further. Well, again, I'm only relying on the, uh, the work of the investigation and the comments. And as I said last night, uh, it was found that only three players were aware of the plan. Oh, look, I think there's, again, uh, if you go to the release, you will see that it specifically mentions concern uh, as to some of the comments that were made and not being totally transparent. There was, a, there was an element of courage of taking on, uh, I guess, the point and, and owning up to what happened, but there was also, unfortunately, uh, an, an element of um, mistruth in, in, in that process, and they were things that were taken into consideration when the board uh, went through its process of... Uh, finalising and then offering sanctions. Thanks. Thank you all. Thanks.